Welcome to my channel. My name is London and happy new year. This is going to be a New Year's Eve look collab with my friend Bailey Dawn here on YouTube. I will have her video, which is going to be gold and my look is going to be silver. I will have her video, her channel, everything linked in the cards and in the description box down below. Please go check her channel out and her New Year's Eve look. I have a ton of stuff that I want to show you guys. I already washed my face and I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Dewy Lumina Face Primer, which I've been obsessed with. Oh my gosh, it makes your skin so glowy. I feel like I need to go out and buy like 10 of these because they're so cheap but it's so good. Now I'm gonna be taking the Makeup Forever Step 1 Eye and Lip Primer, which looks like that. I've been really liking priming my eyes in a different way. I've been using like three different primers on my eyes layered together. My friend Judy suggested this to me and it's the Zatasha the Pearl Under Light and Eye Treatment. Y'all, this makes the biggest difference in your under eyes it is oh let me just show you so the instructions say to take literally a rice grain under your eye so i'm literally going to take that much under my eye and she told me to pat it in and not to rub it in so let me just show you so i'm just gonna pat right in where the darkness is and it just starts to warm up the product oh my gosh look at this this is like my new go-to natural concealer like this stuff is amazing it's so glowy and it conceals and color corrects and it's soft and hydrating oh my gosh and then she also suggested one of tasha's cleansers I can't remember which one it is, but as usual, I'll have everything linked down below in the description box. But I have been so obsessed with this and that cleanser. Look at that! It looks like I have slept my entire life and I don't have anything wrong with my eyes. Like, I would totally go outside just like this. Like, I think my skin looks glowy, nice, and my under eye circles are gone. And it blends into my skin, too. It doesn't look like I have concealer on it just looks hydrated so i raved about a product and now i'm gonna rave about a product that you can't get anymore this is the mark jacobs genius gel supercharged foundation and i have it in the shade 10 i've gotten a bit paler in december so i'm a little bit whiter i believe it was earlier this year when they discontinued this but i love this foundation so much i used it with the primer the other day and I just fell in love with this a hundred times more. This is so amazing. So it is like a jelly type of consistency. This is going to look really white at first. Give it a second and it'll work. I promise. But you only need a little bit. This is a very natural, your skin but better foundation. So if you like full coverage, you're not going to like this. And you're probably not that upset that this is discontinued. But I really like more natural foundation so i really love this and it's long wearing it makes your skin look amazing i should have bought two of them they are on sale at sephora and i should have known i should have known it was my mistake also another side note is that i wore this tatcha moonlight concealer thing all day the other day and it did not crease on me. It looked hydrating. It looked just like this all day long. I was, I cannot rave about it so much. So thank you to my friend, Judy. I know she watches my videos, so thank you. <laughs> just a little bit of concealer over top of this. Just literally, I'm gonna take the Tarte Creaseless Concealer and I'm literally gonna take the brush and just dab like that. Cause this concealer can get if I'm doing a full face of makeup, I want a little bit of concealer. Since this is a silver makeup look, I am going to take the matchstick in Platinum Pearl, which is from Set by Fenty Beauty. And I'm going to be putting this as a highlight to get the silver inspired look going. This is going to look weird, but it'll work with me that and then I'm gonna go over it with a beauty blender I normally like to blend out the matchstick with a brush but for this I want to kind of mix it in with the foundation not so much sitting on top so going over the beauty blender with a little bit of the foundation on it kind of helps to 
mix it in there and kind of tone it down. And then we're gonna go over top of that with something else later on. That going, I'm gonna take another matchstick in linen and now that my eyeshadow primer is set itself i'm gonna take linen and just conceal ever so slightly like i said earlier i have this like routine for my eyeshadow right now that i've been obsessed with we're gonna take the exo beauty round top blender eye brush and just blend that over so the makeup forever primer is a very smoothing primer but it's not very sticky and it doesn't have any color to it so i like to smooth out my eyelids with the makeup forever primer and then conceal with the fenty matchstick because it does set itself and it doesn't crease on my eyes so that's why i use that one and not a regular concealer you only need to use a teeny little bit. And now, before we get into the eyeshadow, I'm gonna take the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder on the Laura Mercier Powder Puff. If anyone is looking for a good powder puff, I really, really like this one. This one I've had for months, and you can just throw it in the wash, in the washer with your clothes, and it comes out perfectly brand new, and all the stains are gone just so you know. Before we get into the eye look, I wanted to share, but these were on sale at Sephora. They're the Tinsel D'Amore Sephora Collection eyelashes. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but they have these little silver um, like confetti bits on the edge there. And I think it would be really cool for a New Year's Eve look. And then when Bailey and I decided to do a collab together and I did the silver and she got gold, I was like, I'm definitely going to pick these up. I've been eyeballing them. All right, this is a little bit of a new thing for me to do the whole zooming. So this is my first try. Pardon me. It's weird. Fenty Chill Out Collection. I have the Huda Beauty New Nudes Palette that I want to jump into. I have the Fenty Galaxy palette that I might jump into one of these wider shades on the ends. And then I also have the Frost Money Three Piece Crayon set. And I'm gonna be using the Crayon in Slush Fund, which is the gray one. I first want to lay out a base and I'm gonna be taking the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. And I'm gonna be taking the shade Play and Tickle right there, mixed together and kind of blended everywhere. So while I'm doing my eyeshadow, I wanted to say I have missed you guys so much. Every single day that I wanted to film, I was either sick or I was working or doing some holiday stuff with family and I wanted to know how y'all's Christmas went. Are you excited for New Year's? Um, I didn't get to do the Holly Jolly tag. I had it all planned out and I did not get a chance to do it. I was so bummed out at myself. This brush is so stained. I don't know what blue color that I dug into, but I cannot get this freaking color out of this brush. But I'm gonna take Love Bite, that kind of darkish purple in the Huda Beauty palette, and I'm just gonna take it and kind of lightly deepen it up. I'm mostly just shaping out what I'm doing. Also, I've been watching all of my friends, like what I got for Christmas videos, and I'm so excited. All right, so I think I got the basics of everything going on. So I'm gonna put that one aside for now. And I'm gonna take the Slush Fun crayon and I'm gonna be putting this literally all over that whole empty space of my eye. And it is going to be the base of all the other silvers that I will be using. Hmm. I really like this silver and pink color going on. So I think I'm gonna take the, is it Stone Cold? Yeah. Stone Cold, which is the center shade of the Fenty Chill Out. Fenty Chill Out Collection Kilowatt Highlight Palette. Huh. Lots of words. But I'm gonna take this right on top of that 
blush fund kind of merging it because stone cold has a little bit of like a pinky hue to it so i want to kind of layer it on top to kind of merge the colors together so they don't look so drastically different and then we're gonna fix up the outer corner in a second and then i really want to dip into the fenty galaxy palette i've been playing with this a little bit and i don't know if this is going to be sticky enough to hold the glitters a little trick here my favorite thing to use with glitters is the mac mixing medium I have tried glitter glue from Too Faced, from all kinds of different brands, but I found that this mixing medium is still my favorite thing to use for pretty much anything that involves glitter and you really want it to just stick there and not move. I've used it with the Huda Beauty palette and it works amazing. You can even mix this into loose glitters and it's easy to do like glitter liner and whatever you want to do with it we're just gonna lay that down over top and i'm gonna be taking this one in the corner here that has a little bit of like a silvery yellowish to it why is one side blended out a little bit more than the other side i think that's all i want to use out of the galaxy palette i got glitters under my eyes and it's okay and then we're going to take the Stone Cold shade out of the Fenty palette and go right over that slush fund underneath my eyes. And now we're going to deepen up this outer corner a little bit more. And I'm going to be taking Heartburn, which is this one from the Fenty palette, on a fluffy brush and just going to blend out everything. It's getting real glittery real fast. I love it. I'm gonna try something out here. I saw um, Ivory Cherry do this with her Huda Beauty palette. I'm gonna take Tickle as my blush. Ooh, that is really pretty. And she said to be careful because there's glitter right next to it. So you guys are zoomed out a little bit more. Hula bronzer that I've been trying to get through for 10 years and I kind of contour with it. Oh, also I wanted to know what you guys' favorite thing that you got for Christmas. Like, is there something, like one particular thing that you were like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy about this. Or was there like multiple things? Did you like everything? I'm really curious about how everyone's Christmas went. I had a pretty good Christmas. I had a really chill Christmas. If you're curious, I'll insert a picture right now. And now I have that silver kind of sheen underneath here, but I want to go a little bit extra. So in my Allure Beauty Box, I got the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Highlighter Everglow, which is this one, if no one's ever seen it. I'm going to take the lightest one. I think it's called Glaze Donut by itself. I'm not too sure about that. I'm just going to go through and highlight everything. I really like this white one. I used all three on my eyes and my cheeks the other day. And it looked amazing. A little bit. Actually, I'm going to take the medium shade on my forehead. I'm actually going to highlight my brow bone with that Ofra highlighter and also my inner corner. And then we're going to be a little extra and take the Diamond Bomb How Many Carrot. And we're going to add some more glitter everywhere. I'm going to go real ham in this. It doesn't look like a lot, but it's so fine. It intensifies everything. It is gorgeous. If you want like glitter glitter. I do have a brow routine that I want to share with you guys. Three products. So I take the Full Proof Brow Powder, the Dior Show Brow Styler, and the Milk Makeup Kush fiber brow gel and I do my eyebrows with it and this is like my go-to brow routine at the moment but I won't film this part so I will be right back but if you want a brow routine let me know in the comments and I will do it for you all right so I went ahead and did my brows and the light coat of mascara and a really thin line of eyeliner but I wanted to show you these lashes out of the box before I stuck them on oh my gosh they are 
so cool all right so my lashes are on look how freaking fun this looks i am so obsessed with these so now we're gonna do an all fenty silver lip look we're gonna take the snow nights the three-piece lipstick set and the color fog nog i'm gonna put this all over our lip next we're gonna take the slush fun crayon that we used on our eyes on the center of my lip and then i am super excited i picked up all three of the fenty gloss bombs because why not <laughs> so i'm gonna take the gloss bomb in diamond milk these all smell so freaking good i don't know why i didn't pick them up earlier all right and this is the finished look I hope you guys like this video please hit that thumbs up button also now that you've watched my video go check out my friend Bailey Dawn's video I'll have a link in the cards and also in the description box don't forget to subscribe to her channel subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day thank you for watching